Hey everyone, Sky here to discuss Friday the 13th, Part 2, starring Amy Steele, Joan Fury, Adrian King, Kristen Baker, and Stuart Charno, and directed by Steve Miner. Now, I gotta say, I have seen this movie before, but was it as good as I remember? Let's get into it and we'll find out. We start with the kid playing in a puddle singing Itsy Bitsy Spider until we see someone's random feet. And we catch up with Alice from the last movie having a nightmare about how she escaped Camp Crystal Lake. And why did we need this flashback? Didn't VCRs exist at this point? And if you saw the first movie, you know what happens. But it was the 1980s, and that's how some movies were made at the time. But in today's standards, it doesn't work at all. Then Alice wakes up and gets a late phone call from her mother and she tells her mother how to fix her problems and getting back to normal and her acting in that scene was pretty awful she gets in the shower and briefly sh and gets another call thinking it's her mother and when she picks up the second caller doesn't say a word and she hangs up and a neighborly cat comes into her apartment and she gets the cat food and finds the head of mrs Voorhees in her refrigerator and gets killed by someone who I'm led to believe it's Jason. We never see the head of this killer until very later, and it's very corny of an opening right off the bat. Two teenagers go to the phone booth and call a friend in Camp Crystal Lake until a truck gets towed and they arrive at the friend's place with the towed truck as a practical joke, which is funny, but the way it's portrayed is awkward. And I'm not laughing until later in the movie when you meet the camp counselors, Terry, Vicky, Scott, and Mark, and there's as well as others, who I'll probably not know their names later on. And as Jenny arrives to the camp late, and the leader, Paul, has some sort of awkward relationship in one of the cabins with Jen after Jenny shows up late, and a lot of these characters are not relatable, as I don't get to know them at all. Then they tell the story of how Jason drowned at Camp Crystal Lake in Friday the 13th, 1957, and is still alive to this day in 1981. That's when it was out, released in theaters, I should say. And he's out there staring and scaring the shit out of people, and that's when I'm starting to bust my ass up laughing as this movie, but at the same time, I just want Jason Voorhees to kill every single motherfucking last one of them. And next thing you know, we see Crazy Ralph getting killed, and I thought, good fucking riddance, because he was annoying in the last film. The campers go hiking, and Jason encounters the dog outside of the cabin named Muffin, whom I'm led to believe had a death off screen, and I will forgive the movie for that, because I absolutely fucking hate when the good dog gets killed, on screen in a movie an evil dog i don't give a shit about neither when it's off screen but if because i don't have to see it a sheriff bumps into jason on the road and runs after him and finds where he's staying at and gets killed by a hammer after stopping a couple going to the lake of camp crystal and paul lets the couple stay at the camp and uh, for their misbehavior while the rest of the campers go to a party without them and they have sexual intercourse while Terry goes out for a swim naked while Jason is watching and Scott steals her shirt and gets stuck on a trap and Terry tries to get a knife until Jason kills Scott while hanging upside down and she finds him dead and she gets killed by Jason I'm glad these fuckers are getting killed one by one because I'm here to see them die because I don't care for any of them. The script like last week had so many problems. Once again, a storm comes and while Vicky is not dead yet and Clark, the crippled, I'm going to call him because I'm sorry, gets the killed in the head and, right, and is riding backwards on the stairs on, in a wheelchair which made this movie completely cruel because of no handicapped people should no handicapped people should roll down the stairs while in a crippled position and Jeff and Sandra that have to stay behind while having sex is killed off and so does Vicky 
who gets it very slowly is just painful to watch. But I do like that Jason's head is being shown in a bag. Jenny and Paul go back to the get back to the camp and see blood, knowing people are dead. And Jason attacks and kills Paul while trying to fight Jason, which is a bad idea because Jason never dies. And Jenny grabs the knife, and as soon as Jason bumps into Jenny's hiding spot, and she jumps out and gets into her car until a pitchfork stabs the top of the car and keeps running and running. And all of the sequence is just horrible. Particularly since Jason chases Jenny around with the goddamn pitchfork, which goes on endlessly. At one point, she pees her pants, and that's how Jason can find her. Come on. And Jenny attacking him with the fucking chainsaw. I thought, what the fuck is this? Jenny does escape to only find Jason's home, and her, his, he finds her there, and she has no way out but to grab Mrs. Voorhees' sweater and talks like how she talks to Jason, and Jason tries to kill Jason. Jenny tries to kill Jason, I should rephrase it as, with a machete, and Paul jumps just out of the blue, shows up, and they fight again, and Jenny stabs his neck as an ending, it was un really unrealistic because we have more sequels to go. Jason is still alive and over while Jenny holds the pitchfork and Paul opens the door to find Muffin, the dog, at the camp. And Jason jumps from behind and attacks Jenny. And Jason is still out there, which look, felt like a piece of junk. I'm just going to be quite honest with you guys. Now it's time for the rating. I'll give this movie a 2.8 out of 10. The acting, the plot as well is bad. But what the hell am I talking about? There is no fucking plot. The dialogue is again for laughable and I don't care about any of the characters. They just are too dead meat to me. This script has a lot of problems and I can't believe this movie exists as a movie. So I'd like to thank you guys for joining me, and next week I will be back with Friday the 13th Part 3. And until next time, ch ch ch